Uh, first up, uh, Alex, we've got to talk about the post office scandal, which I think thanks to the ITV drama, don't forget this has been rumbling yeah. on since oh, 1999. Know, thanks to the ITV drama, suddenly everyone is going, justice, these people need justice and there are villains afoot who have not been brought to justice. Extraordinary. Yeah, I think what's remarkable about the entire post office scandal is it sort of is emblematic of problems in society in general. The haves, the establishment and the have-nots who get completely ignored. Whether you're talking about Sir Ed Davey, post office minister at the time, when he starts getting emails saying, look, we are being mistreated here, we want to meet you, and he gives a phone call to someone in the civil service to fill your boots and, is there anything going on here? No. What are you doing this Christmas? You're going skiing at Cloyster? And then just emails back saying, oh, yeah, sorry, nothing to see here. Not my job. What is your job then? You have one thing in your entry and, and, and you're not going to deal with it. Let's, let's, put the, let's uh, lay out the facts. Uh, this was all based on a computer system where sub-postmasters and sub-postmistresses all over the country found themselves in deep trouble because their accounts were not uh, adding up. Uh, therefore, uh, 736 of them were prosecuted uh, for nicking money, basically, from the post office. They are all saying, it's not us, yeah. it's the computer. The computer said, and the uh, post office, uh, under the auspices of the then chief executive, Paula Venels, CBE, uh, basically said, computer says, no, you must be guilty. Now, Bad. she has walked away from the post office having presided over this, what is widely believed to be the worst miscarriage of justice in British history. She walked away with a CBE, an honour, which she must be stripped of. There's no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah, a petition has now almost reached a million signatories. Yeah, she must be stripped of that honour. And also, bit. guess what, though, uh, Alex? And this me. is, you know, she's then, of course, well, despite that, this dodgy background, is welcomed into the warm embrace of the British establishment. She's immediately appoint, appointed chair of the Imperial College Healthcare Trust. Uh, oh, she, get, she gets sinecure directorships on Dunelm and Morrison's boards. Uh, all of this she had to resign for. And to, to the uh, rancid cherry on the rancid cake is she was also an Anglican priest and she had to resign from that as well. Uh, and she's never said a damn thing about it. And and uh, she must be stripped of that CBE and she must talk, start talking about this. Why did she allow this to happen? Yeah, well, no, exactly. And also, big questions as to the role in Fujitsu in all of this, who not only... Who are Fujitsu? Uh, they're that's the it. people who made Horizon, this yeah. computer programme, who we, the taxpayer, are now the ones paying the compensation. These people deserve compensation, absolutely. And the fact only about 10% has been paid so far is not good enough. People went through absolute hell. Innocent people lost their marriages, their homes, they their killed jobs. Themselves. They killed people themselves. killed themselves. People ended up in prison. Um, and yet, guess what? Fujitsu are still getting government contracts to provide computer software, and guess what? They've still got a government contract with the post office. Yes, yeah, what, what uh, computer system does the post office use now? Horizon. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, speaking about uh, this scandal. And bear in mind, 736 prosecutions, only 93 of these innocent post submistresses and submasters have been pardoned. Something needs to be done. Here's Rishi. This has been an appalling miscarriage of justice, an appalling treatment of all the people affected. And it's right that they get the redress that they deserve. That's why the government has put in place three different compensation schemes that have already paid out almost £150 million to thousands of people who are affected. And Ed Davey, yeah. uh, the... Uh, Sir Ed Davey, Sir, the gallant Sir, knight Sir of the realm. Sir Ed Davey, who was part of that ludicrous coalition between the Tories and the Lib Dems. I agree with Nick. No, I don't. Uh, Ed Davey, uh, as the then post office minister, was warned, apparently, according to the Sunday Times yesterday, that uh, unless we handle this right, uh, the payouts, the compensation to all these victims would be astronomical and would crash the post office and cause enormous problems to the economy. Uh, so some people are saying, well, perhaps that's why he didn't do anything. Let's let, have a listen to Ed Davey speaking to Times Radio last week. My heart goes out to all the sub-postmasters. This is a, is a national scandal, and it, it's really hurt the lives of many, many um, sub-postmasters. And 
you know, I think what we're seeing on the TV, I haven't had a chance to watch it myself, but I've seen all the reports, and it, it is truly awful. Uh, you're right, um, I was uh, postmaster, uh, um, post, the minister for, for, for post offices for, for a short time, and I, I regret um, not doing more. I feel, to be honest with you, Matt, I was deeply misled uh, by uh, post office executives. And, and Alan, Alan is right to raise the point, and they didn't come clean. Deeply misled. And he's like, well, you know, I, I was the, the Minister of Post Offices, but, you know, just it's not my fault. It's everyone else's fault. That was your job. That was your only job to do. And this is the man, of course, who gets really happy about asking anybody to resign if they sneeze in the wrong direction. Apparently 31 times he's demanded heads roll for various yeah, things. 31 and yet, demands for resignation. And yet when it comes to him, who was yeah. Post Office Minister at the time of this scandal, there's been an email that's been publicised of sub postmasters writing to him and saying, look, we are being unfairly prosecuted. He says, well, I spoke to the civil service and they said, you're not telling the truth. I said, nothing, no. nothing, it's not my job, nothing I can do, sorry. So really, what are you supposed to do as post offices minister? Count paper clips? Uh, uh, also, uh, when asked about uh, this ITV drama, which has been showing last week, and uh, which has clearly, after 24 years, 25 years, brought this to a head, it's called Mr Bates versus the post office. When asked, have you watched that? Sir Ed he said, no, I haven't. Why not? Why not? Watch it. Come on. What is the matter with you? Uh, now, you've called for 31 resignations. I'm, call I'm making that number 32. I'm calling for Sir Ed Davey to resign as leader of the Lib Dems, because if he doesn't, they are bound for electoral catastrophe at the box office. So there you go.